press at home for when you can't stop sciencing at home, just like me. We love it way too much. In fact, this one that we're going to do today, I love so much that I do this one every now and then just for fun, because I love it so much. We are going to grow a bean plant today, but what we're going to do is we're going to grow it in a glass so you can see the first root and the first leaves that come out of the seed. It is absolutely fascinating and you'll, you're going to want to do this over and over again. So to do this one, you're going to need a big seed. Now beans are really good, they have a big seed, but also peas. So I found these two in my shed, but if you don't have them at home, you can order them online. Now, these are the peas, what the pea seed looks like. They're pretty big, and the beans are pretty big too. So it's good to have big seeds, because then you'll be able to see exactly what's happening as it germinates. We're also going to need a glass, or a pla plastic is fine if you'd rather use plastic, uh, and uh, some paper towel and some water. So rip off a bit of the paper towel and fold it up. and dampen it down a bit with the water. Then you're going to take your seed, place it on the damp paper towel, and press it to the side of the glass so you can see it. So the paper towel is holding it to the side of the glass, like that. Now you're going to want to put that in a safe spot where no one's going to knock it over for a couple of days. Every now and then top it up with a little bit of water just to keep that paper towel damp. And you've got to keep an eye on it because when it starts to germinate, when it, the seed breaks open and the first root comes out, it goes fast. It will change from morning to night. So you're going to have to keep an eye on it at all times of the day. Now I've got a few down here that I germinated last week and they are growing like crazy. When you see that first root come out. That's a very special root and that's called the radical. Now the first root comes out for a day or two and it shoots straight down. It's looking for the water. And once it finds some, usually on the paper towel, it will spread out lots of other roots. And you can see these in the beans that I've got here. After a couple of days, you will notice that then there's a little sprout that goes upwards, a little stem that's searching up for the light. Now it's got two leaves on it, and when you see those, they're very special. They're not true leaves, they call them the seed leaves, or if you want the science name for it, it's called a cotyledon. Those leaves have all the food the plant needs until it gets into the ground. So what I want you to do with your bean, Grow it until it's a bit bigger than my one here. Let the leaves come out and then you can really see it. But then I want you to plant it in the garden. And then I want you to have some of the beans and the peas to eat. And then I want you to start all over again and do another one. And soon you'll have a full veggie bed full of them. But I tell you what, this one is absolutely fascinating because the roots go so fast. And now you'll be able to know exactly what happens when any plant grows in the garden. All right, make sure you send me Photos of your bean seed. Hey, can anyone out there make a time lapse video of it? I can't do that. I'm not that good at computers, but I bet you are. Send me a time lapse video of your bean seed. That would be so cool. All right, make sure you tag us on social media. Tag Newcastle Museum so we can see your results. And I'll see you next time at Museum Express at Home. <laughs>